Hi guys, welcome to another video here on my channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Lakia and welcome to the Chaotic Critic family. For my returning subscribers, welcome back. Here on my channel, I share planning and organizational videos, plus so much more over on my blog, chaoticcritic.com. The link is always in the description box. The whole premise of my channel is to share with you guys how I'm crushing the chaos in my life with hopes that you'll be inspired and encouraged to crush the chaos in yours. Today's video is going to be all about goal setting and reflection and I'm covering a lot in this video so grab a snack, grab your pen and paper and you can goal set with me. I'm going to be reviewing not only my November goals but setting up for December and looking at what I had set out to do in 2019 in general. So before we get into the overall goals of the year in December, let's just quickly reflect on November. For those of you curious about my planner, this is an ARC half letter disc bound planner. I have all the details about it in the description box for you guys to check out. So my goal for November was to have a successful planning for 2020 series. If you guys are new to the channel and are unfamiliar with that, this series has been filled with tips and tricks on how to crush your goals in the new year and finding a right planner for you. So I encourage you to check out my planning for 2020 series in the description box. So I would say that it was successful. Was I able to bulk record and edit? I would not say that I promoted a lot. Um, yeah, I, this is the part that I was... I was very lax on, I will say that. I really just devoted majority of my time to getting the videos out to you guys. So I definitely in December want to turn my attention and find a balance between YouTube and Instagram in general, because both are helpful in really, you know, promoting just what Chaotic Critic is. Then test reads of my memoir. That went amazing. I had um, my test read on November 17th. This was a Sunday. And um, I did my self-edit to adjust the flow. I did read aloud and I did do research. But this one I'm going to have to continually do. And then as far as the self-edit, I have another round that I need to do early December so I can get my other test reads out ASAP. As far as controlling my spending, I won't lie. I failed. I failed and we'll be talking more about that in my low income budget series. I wanted to stick to my budget, my weekly budget, um, take out only one time a week. I think I was pretty good on this though. Um, this is when I started to do meal prep mid month. So that helped out and then tracking my daily spending. I did do that as well. And I got that idea from Don't Debt Me on Instagram. But as far as tracking my daily spending, I do that in my um, budget planner. So I did do that, but as far as sticking to my budget, I'm, I, haven't, I haven't been able to control my spending. Even though I followed the actionable steps, this is what I'm saying of I need to really get down with the nitty gritty and zone in even more. So I would say that my wins of the month were, you know, keeping up with my planning for 2020 series. So that's a big one for me. Um, but going forward, I have to give... of content created so this is insta comments photos ig story so stuff like that so that i would say is a win and then going forward this is what i'm going to focus on when i go to create my december goals and then the test reads of my memoir. Um, amazing feedback. And then going forward, I need to finish adjusting flow. And 
then what else did I have on here? Um, my self edits, research, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Oh, and then test reads number two, which is coming. Um, this is either going to be December or January. I'm still trying to figure out how I want to present my test reads. Um, and then my losses, I'm going to say is lacks on controlling my spending. And I spent nearly 1K this month on miscellaneous, takeout, whatever. I just spent a lot. So going forward, I need to be on it, on it. Like I need to be meticulous about it. So be hard on myself about spending. I will say that all my bills, the one win of this is bills are current. That's a good thing. So I won't say that that's not a win, but going forward, be hard on myself about spending and also no dabbling into savings. unless it's an emergency. So that is November in a nutshell. And I really like this method of writing out my goals and then reflecting at the end of the month. And in comparison to what I had in October, yeah, October, um, the next step was to edit and rearrange the flow in my book progress. So I did that. And then I lim I did limit my takeout um, a lot. So I'm going to write that in here, plus limit takeout. And then um, my savings definitely went up. And um, I wanted to research types of savings calculate wisely control my spending and if it goes into savings do not touch so financially I'm still working on that I just need to be more disciplined that's really what it boils down to so I'm going to write that here be more disciplined okay because I have all this money coming in and you know still not get done what you need to get done. So now moving on to my December 2019 goals. Now that I have checked out everything for the month of November, I'm thinking of the areas that I want to focus on. And one of those happens to be um, promoting Chaotic Critic. And this I need to devote time and then Twitter I'm still trying to figure that out and another thing I want to do is um, Pinterest. So I would love to get back into pinning stuff. Um, haven't done that in a while. So, and then Pinterest. Uh, and then take time to map out videos. For the upcoming year it's definitely something I want to do this month so when you guys are writing your goals like what do you do do you like just make a running to-do list or I would love to hear that in the comment section as well so Pinterest and then so that's promoting chaotic critic really just um, and then 
so Instagram photos, so Pinterest, collages, and then YouTube responding to comments. commenting within community and then also um, community tab so that's what I really want to do I want to focus more so on I want to focus more so on that promoting all right, then number two, it comes down to the memoir. What is it that I want to do? I want to completely finish editing. That includes the grammar, the flow, um, start marketing plan. I've already started this, but I want to like really iron things out now and then update social media instagram plus twitter and i'm thinking figure out a schedule so these are the two areas that i really want to focus on um, and then the last one would be my finances. Be critical with spending. It's okay to say no when someone asks for something. Keep bills current. to take out plan which results in meal prep and then no frivolous spending So those are the three areas that I want to focus on. Um, so promoting Chaotic Critic, my memoir, and then my finances. Um, and then here I'm just going to say let's get it done. And then over here I'm just going to put D be disciplined. And you got this. And I like writing my goals with just pen and paper. Of course, you can embellish the page if you want it to be cuter, but this is just fine for me. So now the last part of this video is going to be talking about my 2019 goals overall. And I think that from what I have here of what I wanted to accomplish is pretty much covered in the more actionable steps that I put for my December goals. So in 2019, what did I accomplish? Here's my vision board. I'll link below the video. I don't know if I'm doing a vision board like this in the new year. I might do something just like a collage inside of like Canva or something. I'm thinking of doing that and putting a dashboard in my planner. But as far as what I wanted to accomplish, I have a front and back here. We're going to go through every single thing and see what worked and what didn't. So number one was additional source of income which I did I am doing freelance marketing number one and then number two and then number three um, and this is occasional and this is monthly um, I also do kids events and then I do dog sitting ever so often. So I put both of those down as occasional and the monthly for the freelance marketing. So I was able to add in the additional income. So the 5K followers on YouTube, I'm not there yet, but um, I'm almost to 3K. I have 2.9K. 
k followers and the promotion that i want to do of promoting chaotic critic as i said for december is all going to tie into increasing those numbers also on my instagram as well so as of 12 1 i have almost 2k so i'm just gonna put an x here and an x here and that's fine um almost 500k views on youtube no but as of when i'm filming this which is december 1st i have let me look let me look let me see i have Mm -hmm. uh, wait. Oh, I said lifetime. I have 285k plus. So I'm over halfway there. So this is cool. Over halfway to goal. Um, attending WrestleMania, yes, I did. That was awesome. This was April 2019. Yes, yes, yes. And then in, oh, for those of you that don't know what wrestling WrestleMania is, it is a wrestling pay-per-view. It's the big one that's like the Super Bowl for WWE, and I was so happy to go. It was on my list since they were here last time i don't remember if that was like two th i don't remember what year that was but i did go in april that was a lot of fun and then i started a wrestling podcast with my brother and that is called the half right podcast and our episodes are anywhere from 35 to 60 plus minutes and as of 12 1 we're still in season one season two i decided to break it into seasons per year so season two will start um in january but as of today with the pot well, as i'm filming this as i said as of december 1st the podcast has 19 episodes and i'd love to get to 20 at least 22 23 by the end of the year um so that's good and i'm very very happy about that i'm very happy with how that's been turning out so um yeah i definitely need to pour more time into this so i'm actually going to do that here promote podcast insta Twitter make a game plan so I'm adding that in because I feel like the content that we're creating is great we just have to get it out there to more people so if you guys are interested in checking that out it's called the half right podcast then I wanted to launch my chaotic critic merch which is on Spreadshirt. I'll have the link for you guys to check out it says crush the chaos my giveaway winners you guys got an exclusive crush the chaos merch which was my buttons and i'm very very happy about that um but yeah you can find that over on spreadshirt re finish five plus books on my reading list i have read so i'm kind of just gonna give this one a straight face <laughs> because i read i read all the time it's just on my reading list I haven't read anything so like the Michelle Obama book um, Jennifer Lewis book um, the Joe Biden book about his son didn't read that the game of desire I didn't read that um, calm the F down I didn't read that so there's a lot of books that I still want to read and I still have time I don't know it's just like digitally I want to read on my phone so I read a lot of fiction but one of the things I definitely want to do, especially since I'm becoming a self-published author, is to see how other people are developing their books. And that's why I want to read more. Okay. And then the last one was save money. Between the time that I was employed, 
Um, so my savings as of right now with everything going on, again, I'm transparent with you guys, is over 500 as of 12-1, which is great, but I don't want to dibble dabble into that. I want to add to it. So I need to get back into my budgeting system. I feel when I was like on it, on it, I was doing great, but I've become very, very laxed and I don't want to do that. So... I would say out of everything on here, I'm pleased with what I accomplished and what I set out to do. Um, as far as the X's that I put, which comes down to the promotion, that is what I put in my December 2019 goals as far as promoting Chaotic Critic as a whole, which will cover all the bases of the Instagram, the Twitter, and then also word of mouth on Pinterest. And then um, the Chaotic Critic merch, I did launch that, but again, that's going to go in with the promotion. The reading, I need to work on the saving money. I can always increase that. And then that is it. So we just covered my goals. We went through November, we covered December, and I went through 2019 in general. So I'm glad to have done all of that. And I did look at this prior to making this, and I just went over this last with you guys. But as you can see, these two tie in together of what I can still accomplish this month. So at the end of the month, before we go into the new year, we'll be reflecting on December 2019, what went good, what didn't, what can we do different, and setting up January goals. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Again, this is a half letter art disc bound planner from Staples. Feel free to check it out. The details are in the description box. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comment section. Also in the description box, I'll have my planning for 2020 series and other related videos, plus the links to my blog and Instagram. The blog is chaoticcritic.com. My Instagram is at chaoticcritic. If you guys are not a part of the Chaotic Critic fam, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And for all of you that are, that interact with me, comment, like, the video even share the video just being a part of the chaotic critic fam in general i thank you guys so much and i'll see you in my next one bye